So I just want to say yes. I'm so, so grateful for this. And this is like a monumental thing I'm never going to get. And I just wanted to be part of my journey. No. That this is a monumental time. Hey guys, so I wanted to finally show you the CoverGirl package that I got. I've been using the CoverGirl product since I got it. Like, I don't know, maybe three or four weeks ago. I've been testing it out and then I did a look with this today. I found with their products, it's like I either really, really like it or I literally just like don't like it at all to the point where it's like disappointing that they even would put it out. But I'm just going to go over really quick pretty much what I like, what I don't like. Let me show you. So you open it up and there's literally a TV. Like, it's plain. What does my face tell you? Does it say that I'm vain? Or does it tell you that I'm strong? And it's like good quality. This, this is like 1080p at least. My face can be bold. Okay, so I have to say these liquid lipsticks, I just, I don't like what them. What does my face tell you? They're really streaky. But the good thing is that, okay, so there's lips in here. There's another set of liquid lipsticks, I guess like a different line, but I like those a lot better. And then there's the Katy Perry Collaboration Glosses. Okay, so both of these I like. The ones in the top drawer, I don't like them because they're streaky and they're just weird. Like, I just, I've tried one on. And so, you know, I did my one layer and, like, let it dry, whatever. And there's, like, just one random spot that was just not as pigmented as the other. Like, a random line across my lip. So I went in again and again and again, like, trying to fix it. I went in with, like, another purple shade from the Good Liquid Lipstick line. And it still wouldn't work, so... And I've heard that they're streaky from others, so... Not a big fan of those ones, but the good thing is that these are really good. Really like them. Really pretty color shades. And same with the Katy Perry glosses. They're really, really pigmented. Like, they're a, just a pigmented, pigmented gloss. And the good thing is that, like, I, for a while, wasn't really into gloss, but I'm, like, back in the gloss. And look at the cap. It's so cute. It's literally a cat the cutest cutest thing so it's like a very pigmented gloss it's like a lipsticky gloss you can see and really pretty cool shades in here there's even a white one right here and I am going to do since I like these so much and they're really cool unique shades mm. Smells so good. I love stuff that smells good. It kind of smells like, I don't know, something with baking. Like when you bake a cake or something. Yeah, so I'm going to do lip swatch videos of, the, of these on Instagram too because they're just so cute. And there's like blue, purple, really fun shades. And I just feel like life is too short to not see how every shade of lipstick ever looks on you. It's like it wipes right off. Like for me, I love seeing how different colors and stuff looks on me because like so what, it'll come right off and who wants to just look at your plain, boring old face every single day. I will swatch one of these too. Oh, by the way, I'm going to like put away what I use while I talk. So for this look, I use these two combined from the Good Liquid Lipstick range. It's actually called the Queen Collection. So it makes sense that the Queen collection will be better than like the basic collection because obviously. And then I use this on top. This is like a melting pout glitz. It's, yeah, it's just like a really glittery gloss. It's a really cool product. It's really like shimmery and stuff. I do like it. But I think it would be, you know, I don't think this shade is very versatile to wear on top of every lip color. Like it's going to automatically make it like pretty silvery. And I think if it came out other shades... It'd be good. People would buy it. And then we come to the eye drawer. So they have two new eyebrow products, three eyeshadow palettes that I'll show you, uh, eyeliners, mascara, and eyeshadow primer. So I like both the eye product, eyebrow products. By the way, there's four shades of the pencil and these. They're kind of like pomades, so it comes in here. But if you look, it's like so tiny. Like I literally get kind of claustrophobic when I'm using the brush in here. <laughs> But it is fairly pigmented, not the most crazy pigmented ever, but... So yeah, for drugstore products, I think these are good. And now, for the eyeshadow, there's two of the Katy Perry collaboration, Katy Cat. And then there's like one of the Smoky True Naked. I didn't try this yet. But these are really pigmented, really good, so I can only just assume that hopefully this one's on the same level. But yeah, I really like the Katy Perry ones. This one has beautiful, beautiful shades. I just use it today. 
I really like it. Okay, so now for the liquid liners. This is when we get to one of those products that's just kind of like... Um, hmm? So there's a few different shades, and I guess some are supposed to just be like glittery and then there's like a brown and there's a black brown and black when swatched on my hand they came out properly pigmented the ones that are meant to be glittery i don't know what's going on there like no color comes out it's just like a clear tiny streak and it's not even really glittery it's literally just like a liquidness with like a slight gray tint to it like i just i don't know i shook them up and everything but i I don't know what's up there. It's so liquidy that it doesn't really work out. And then the ones that swatch pigmented I use today is the black one. And I don't know, it worked really good like right on the upper eye, but for the wing, like over eyeshadow and stuff, it was not that pigmented. So I would probably pass on these. Okay, the mascaras. Um, there's like a regular one and there's a waterproof. I haven't tried the waterproof, but I actually didn't like this at first, but now I actually do quite like it. A couple things. Volumize is good. It lengthens good, which is what I look for in a mascara. I do find it kind of clumps. There you get those little clumpy balls at times. I don't really think it's that good for the bottom lashes. It just, I don't think it coats them well enough. And I think it can lengthen a little more. But I'm really picky on mascaras, so... That's just me giving my two cents, but I do think it's a good mascara. The eyeshadow primer is, I only use it for the first time today. It seemed pretty good. So for our face drawer, all right, so we have two of these. They're like liquid lotions, luminizing lotions, kind of like a liquid highlight. I do like these. I like using these like under foundation. I have dry skin, so I like products like that. But yeah, I like it. And like, I try this mm -hmm. once, but it's a little dark for me maybe when I'm tan, mm -hmm. but I like this one for me. Okay, so these things are the Vitalist little highlights. They come in pots. They seem like eyeshadows. I thought they were. I think I used one as an eyeshadow originally until I realized they work pretty good as highlighters. I actually think I would probably use these as an eyeshadow over highlighting, but I like how there's like quite a few shades, like darker and lighter for, you know, people's different preferences. And on my skin tone, like, it's quite pigmented but it kind of doesn't blend right on my skin again I think it's more of like my type of texture thing with dryness but I can see I think these would work good for people so I'm not gonna like knock them but I think I would probably just gonna use them as an eyeshadow base because they're pigmented and all but I just don't think they blend well on my highlight bone area color correcting palette yeah it works good pigmented just your standard color correcting palette it works I'm not a big color corrector, so whatever. Okay, and then the powders, that's when we get to something that's like, whoa. So there's only four powder shades, and like I looked it up to make sure that it wasn't just like new shades that they launched. It's like literally all they have is four powder shades. So that's kind of like, um, what are you doing? And first of all, okay, like the darkest shade is really not dark at all. Like... I know this is not going to be proper for all skin types. And the lightest shade is not light enough, even for me. And yeah, I'm pretty fair, but like there's people who are really, really fair. And I've never experienced this where like I setting under my eyes, it makes my it darker. Like it doesn't look good. And you know, I understand that these maybe aren't meant for like patting down the under eye just lightly okay. dusting the whole face but I've never experienced a powder like that where even if it is meant for that it's not going to make my under eyes look darker I have to say I'm pretty disappointed with that I mean CoverGirl is a very big brand one of the original makeup brands have been in it around for a long time 2018 this big launch they're doing for the spring collection like I think this is their first time doing PR with influencers and stuff I think they could have done better with that I just think it's kind of disappointing that they only did four powder shades and it's not good enough it's not good enough for all people and then round to the concealers again I think the color range isn't the best but yeah the latest two shades actually work for me so that's good and it's definitely more of your lighter coverage concealer so that's why I didn't really like it at first I tend to like more heavier coverage concealers. It did grow on me because it lasts really well. I didn't find that it like smears up too bad or anything throughout the day. So 
I started to like it better. Finally, we have the spray. I don't think sprays really do anything for me. Like, I've tried out quite a few sprays, and I don't feel like really any of them make my makeup last longer. Like, maybe, if anything, if I have dry skin, it'll kind of, like... I can refresh my face with a spray if it starts to get like kind of cakey or dry looking, but it smells good, so I like that. And yeah, that's that, but I did, it wasn't part of this package. Mm. They sent out one in like January when they first started sending out PR, they sent like a smaller little package, but I wanted to give honorable mention to these that were in that one, but not this one. These are their lip oils. I think they might have more shades, not totally sure though. But I actually really like these. It's like a lip oil, so it's not quite a gloss. It's more oily. <laughs> it really sits really nicely on your lips. It doesn't give that like glossy gloss feeling like the other gloss thing that I showed you in there. You can put on top of stuff. You can wear it on its own for like a really natural look. And they smell good. Again. <sighs> but these are a different smell. These smell like... I know exactly what they smell like. Wait, let me... It's like on the tip of my nose. <laughs> it's like a cherry. Like a cherry Kool-Aid? Maybe. It's it's like a drink or something that's cherry. But it's like it's like nostalgic. And it smells so good. It's like what you want to smell when you put on a lip product. That is basically it. Again, I'm really grateful to have received this package. And I just want to share this little step of my journey. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video.